Nowhere else is the impact of global warming felt as strongly as in the Arctic. Ice is melting at a fast pace. The effects of climate change are calculated to be at least twice the rate of anywhere else on the planet. And while it is seen as a reason for huge concern, some see it as a business. Navigating through the Northern Sea Route between East Asia and Europe has now become a possibility, reducing traveling time significantly compared to the Southern Route through the Suez Canal. And developing the Arctic route has become one of President Putin's main policies. He wants to see a tenfold increase in cargo in the next five years. Only 10 or 15 years ago, this number seemed totally unreachable. Now it's a realistic, calculated and concrete task to accomplish. Last year, the amount of cargo on the Northern Sea Route reached 20 million tonnes, which is three times the Soviet record from 1987. For now, most of the ships using the northern route are oil and gas tankers. But to help commercial cargo ships maneuver through the Arctic, Russia is building three nuclear-powered icebreakers and aims to produce 13 more by 2025. This part will be with ice at least 20 years. So if we speak about through transportation, it's just a dream. Scientists have raised serious doubts about Putin's plans. These estimations are certainly wrong, just wrong. Some people which presented it uh, looked uh, on the globe through uh, so-called pink glasses. They expect that Arctic is even, that climate is uh, very gentle and very pleasured. Global warming, it's not. It's something like that. So something what? like that. Therefore, uh, this uh, number looks like impossible now. Putin sees the development of the Arctic and the Northern Sea Route as an opportunity for economic growth. But neighboring countries in the region have other concerns. They say they want to protect what they call a vulnerable part of the planet and hold global warming instead of exploiting it. The heads of states of Finland, Norway, Iceland and Sweden are all at the forum in St. Petersburg, keen to have their voices heard. Global warming and its effect on the Arctic may not only lead to an environmental and ecological disaster, potentially they are a security threat of global proportions. Russia has downplayed concerns of a possible military buildup in the Arctic, but with huge gas and oil reserves still untapped, the Arctic is no longer an undisturbed, isolated part of our planet. It is rapidly becoming a geopolitical new frontier. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera. Moscow.